Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we have a very hot, dry go day going on. Uh, looks like we might reach our highest temperatures yet this year. They're talking about 85 degrees today, which in the tropics here is extremely hot. And I'll give you a little peek at what the ground is looking like. Yeah, that's way too dry, way too dry. Under normal conditions, this would be wet, wet, wet. So I've got an interesting story to share with everybody today as we look out into the jungle here. And a friend that I've known for a very long time out here has been out here for well over 20 years. I think it's closer to 40 years, an old hermit who lives way out in the jungle without a road into his place. And if I try to just move a little bit here and show you, um, there's no walking through this as I pointed out before, but he has cut a small footpath or just worn a small footpath into his a very small but comfortable cabin. He would consider himself a hermit. And believe it or not, uh, I used to live li like a hermit myself. It's only recently I've come out to the world on YouTube. So I really understand where he's coming from. And lives he lives in much an environment like this. And I'm gonna show you what kind of a system that he's thinking about building for where he lives. But yeah, this is where my foot traffic stops right here. There's no walking through there. And so this guy, while he lives in an area like this, if you drove by the road that his property borders up to, you can't even see the footpath going into his place. He's made it so uh, clandestine. And that's just the way he likes it. He likes to be able to be tucked away where he is. Uh, no one can ever drive in to see them. They must come by invitation and know the way in. And although this isn't the, the path, uh, his path doesn't even look this well worn. So I really, really like that. Uh, I understand it, but here's the thing. He's been living with his power being a 2000 watt generator, which he only uses periodically, but he does like to watch a little TV, which he can pick up uh, the free over the air TV, and then a radio and charge up a few power tools for his little projects where he lives way, way off grid. So he was talking to me the other day and he said, you know, my generator is just about dead. I really don't want to spend another thousand dollars on a generator. Do you think I could get by with a solar system? And that leads us into the solar system I'm suggesting for him, well under a thousand dollars to build. And he can have uh, all the peace and quiet, which that was one of the things he mentioned. He really doesn't like even producing any noise, but he has gotten used to periodically making a little noise for his purposes there. So he's gonna to go to a silent operation. So I have put together this little system uh, for him to get an understanding. He has never used solar, and I wanted to just show him how simply he could uh, build a small solar system for his purposes. So right here in the background, we've got a, a 50 watt Renergy uh, solar panel, uh, one 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, one Victron charge controller, some power cables, and an inverter with a couple of cables. So this is all he will need. And then also, this is really important for the story as well. This is a watertight container. There's the lid over there, it snaps on. And the reason that this is important is uh, he does not have any sun capability or sun catching capability at his cabin. He has built it in the shade. Uh, it's basically in the shade all the time. That's where he likes it. So what he wants to do is, 
and, and I helped him put this together is, you know, with a watertight container, he can leave his battery, whichever battery he gets, and leave it in here with the solar panel hooked up to it. Drill a couple of holes in the side for the cables. The battery can be in there with the charge controller and the battery can be charged. And since it will be several hundred feet away from his dwelling, when it's charged, he will just simply come and disconnect this battery, carry it to his cabin, and then his inverter will not be in here, it'll be in his cabin. So that's a very simple way to move power around, especially for these, uh, this type of an application that he's talking about. He doesn't want near his house because uh, it would cost a lot more to you know, run <laughs> cables, and it wouldn't be that effective to run cables hundreds and hundreds of feet away from your place. So this he can simply leave out uh, in the elements with a solar panel, or two, whichever, and, you know, charge his battery up. He doesn't use a lot of power. And then when he wants to, he can just come disconnect this, carry it down his footpath, tie in his inverter, and then he can, uh, you know, listen to his radio. He can watch his little TV and, even more importantly, charge up his power tools. Now, he has shown me and told me all of his power uh, needs. He is, he's never going to pull more than 375 watts off the a battery, whichever battery he settles on. So I suggested that um, he might as well get the best. Uh, you know, this right here, this 12 volt, 375 watt pure sine wave from Victron. Yeah, I, I looked at it today, I think it was 118 bucks. So well within his budget and might as well get the best. And this he'll tie into his small cabin and be able to plug in uh, his, you know, small power tool batteries, watch a little TV, listen to his radio, and not listen to a generator. And same thing with the charge controller. This will be plenty enough for him if he ever wants to expand more than one or two panels, he'll be able to do it with this charge controller. And it's also, you know, sophisticated enough that you don't have to worry about it once you plug in your solar. Uh, th through this to your battery, uh, when he walks down his path, his battery, battery will be fully charged. He can quickly disconnect the uh, charge controller, pick up the battery and take it back. And, and by what he describes, one battery fully charged will last him a long time. And as he stated, he's not in a big hurry to do it either. So uh, he doesn't use a lot, but wants some and does not want to spend a thousand dollars on a generator, which is failing him. So, uh, so we're going to add all of this up. And, and he said, if it could be done for cheaper than a thousand dollars, that's what he's going to do because that's what the generator was going to cost him. And then he has to carry down the, the long path to his place, five gallons of gasoline uh, every now and then, not much, because he did, did not run that generator a lot, but he doesn't want, like I said, the noise, uh, the expense. This is gonna come in at well under $100, and I'll break, uh, $1,000, and I'll break it right down for you. So, 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphates, not this particular model, but most of them right now, are well under $300. I've seen them just as recently as today, about 250. This one's a little bit more. It's a, their new mini version for Redodo. But there are plenty of lithium iron phosphate batteries under many different names now, well under $300 when they used to cost, uh, you know, just a couple of years ago, they were over $1,000. So the price is coming down. So we can just say roughly 250 for a battery this size you know, a hundred bucks for your charge controller, just slightly over, another hundred, slightly over a hundred bucks for the inverter. Uh, he's only going to need about, this is, these are 50 foot uh, cables, but he could get by with 20 foot cables. Uh, and then this is an old inverter that I've used in a lot of uh, demonstrations, but he wants to have the best, so it will last him the rest of his life. And if he goes with a Victron controller and a Victron inverter and a, a lithium iron phosphate battery, it's going to last him the rest of his life the way he's doing it. And that 
50 watt solar panel is 50 bucks. So yeah, what do we got? 250, 350, 450, 500, and you know, I mean, call it 550. And uh, he's gonna have, you know, the same amount of power. Cause like I said, his 2000 watt generator, he never needed that much. And it was uh, excessive for his needs. So instead of buying a new generator, he's gonna invest in a small solar system. And then in his little piece of paradise, he's gonna be quiet, have all the power he needs, and he's gonna be happy back there, whatever he wants to do. Yeah, so lots of different ways to make this work for you. For me, the most important thing was getting him off the gasoline, saving him some money. He's gonna be way, way happier. There you go. Just another, another way someone's making solar work for them. <laughs> I'll take a peek on him sometime, see how he's doing, but uh, I'm gonna help him get all that stuff squared away. Aloha, everybody. Hope you're all doing well where you are. And come on, rain. Ha, ha, ha.